Good morning, Keitha, Lou. Well, here in James Weldon Park, we have this historical marker about the Great Fire, even though the fire started about 10 blocks away from here. So, so much was destroyed. One thing that was not destroyed, one of the few city landmarks to survive, is a Confederate monument here at the park. Of course, we just have the base still standing now, but the way it was described really shows the difference between that time back then and today. This would look like the center of a war zone. 120 years ago Monday, the Great Fire began. Starting on Beaver and Davis Street, embers from a neighbor's stove landed on Spanish moss used for mattresses outside the Cleveland Fiber Factory. The fire spread 146 blocks, destroying more than 2,300 buildings and killing seven people. What hasn't changed in 120 years, the Confederate monument in recently renamed James Weldon Johnson Park is still something we talk about. But author and college professor Tim Gilmore says it used to be described differently by historians. He wrote that uh, the Confederate soldier who stood up on top of that stone plinth, um, you know, stood above the flames and the, the, fi the, the fire and the, the smoke and this kind of heroic image, which um, to a lot of us today is not so heroic anymore, right? Now, almost a year after Mayor Lenny Curry promised to take down Jacksonville's Confederate monuments, many still stand. A working group made up of city planners, historians, and art professionals plans to meet with their proposals of what to do with the monuments. And of course, we're standing in James Weldon Johnson Park right now, and we'll talk in the next half hour about a way he described the fire back then and how it especially relates to issues we are still talking about today. I'm Renata DiGregorio, live in downtown Jacksonville. First Coast News on your side.